ladies and gentlemen, live on the zone from the world's most famous arena, Madison Square Garden, New York City, USA. A very good evening, fight fans, and welcome to an exciting night of professional boxing, all brought to you by Triple G Promotions and Eddie Hearns Matchroom Boxing USA in association with DeBella Entertainment. All bouts are presented by Tecate, the official beer of boxing, and Chivas Rigal. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, eight rounds of action, this in the middleweight division. Your three judges scoring at ringside, Mark Constantino, Ron McNair, and Waleska Roldan. And when the action begins inside the ring, referee in charge, veteran Benji Estevez. <laughs> Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing green with white, he weighed in officially 160 pounds even. In 31 professional bouts, his record outstanding with 27 victories, including 14 knockouts, just four defeats. Presentando el hijo de Zapopan, Jalisco, Mexico, Oscar Raton Cortez. And across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the red corner, wearing white with red. He weighed in officially 159 and one half pounds. In 20 bouts as a professional, he stands perfect. 20 victories, no defeats, four wins by way of knockout. Here's the undefeated middleweight from Bayonets, Poland, Camille Shurimeta. Okay, men, may my commands, over this give me instructions. Protect yourself at all times, protect yourself at all the time. Good luck, again, I'm going to Touch him up. Oscar Cortez, 27 and 4, but he started his career 21 and 0 as he stepped up his opponents. Things have slowed down a little bit for him. He's 6 and 4 since then. Sheremeta has never lost. Not known as a big power guy with just four knockouts, but again, he was adamant yesterday that he was going to win this fight by knockout, and he was going to do it early. Yeah, he was, he was a little touchy about it when I told him. I said, well, how, how do you expect to win by knockout? We only have four knockouts and 20 victories. But he's very confident in his power. Here we go, Sheremeta wearing the red and white trunks, Oscar Cortez in the green and white. Eight rounds, middleweight division, 160 pounds. You can already see the size difference between Shermeta and Cortez. Shermeta's taller, and you can see he's a little bit more muscular. Cortez a little soft around the belt. You can see that Cortez came up from a lower division to fight at middleweight. Shermeta was actually in consideration to be Triple G's first opponent on DAZN. He ended up fighting Steve Rolls, of course, but Shermeta, I believe, might have been the second option. So who's to say if he doesn't do something spectacular here tonight? He doesn't get a crack at a big name opponent next. Well, Sheremetov's very pop, uh, confident. He was a popular uh, Polish fighter. He fought uh, Maciek Suleski, beat him five times in the amateurs. So he's very confident in we could, what he could do, and he wants a, a he wants to get the knockout tonight to, to really open eyes and get that Golovkin okay, fight. Okay, okay. He also wants to become a star here in America, already big in the Polish community. What better place to become a star than in New York City? You know, Sergio, if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. No punch, no punch. Okay, blue eyes. Cortez with some sneaky, sneaky punches. He, he threw an overhand right, trying to time Shermeta, and he had a, a nice jab as well. Very sneaky in Raton. Step out, step out, step out. Cortez looks so comfortable in there right now. It's almost uh, like he's going on a stroll through the park. The most successful uh, fighters are, are comfortable fighters like that, you know, because they really can take and absorb the punishment a lot more, and they're fighting off of instinct. You know, everything they they don't think about it; they just react. Sheremeta trained by Fedor Lapin, who's trained by many of the most notable Polish fighters in boxing today, cruiserweight champions, Krzysztof Darczyk. Robachki, Archer Spielkin, down goes Cortez, and maybe he will get that early knockout. Cortez looks all right, but it was a sharp left hook by Shermeta. He timed him perfectly. 
Sheriff Meta said he wanted it early. Doesn't get earlier than round one. 30 seconds to try and seal the deal here. Cortez back towards the corner now. Just missing with that left hook, Sheriff Meta. Cortez looks all right, his eyes looked all right to me. He just doesn't want to get hit with that same punch again. Wants to survive this round and go into the next one. Again, the left hand moves Cortez awkwardly to his left. He'll get out of the round, but not before being knocked down by Sheremeta Camille. And it's a beautiful overhand left. The reason these are successful is because the opponent follows the head instead of the punch. The punch came from a north to south angle and didn't follow the head. Beautiful shot. Overhand lefts and rights can be very devastating if they land them right. Right there, sure met up perfectly timed. He never saw it coming. He never saw it. Let's go. Get him because Cortez was following Shermeta's head instead of his hands. So what do you focus on on a fighter? The chest. You got to focus on the chest. The chest never moves. Just like you focused on a, on a running back in the NFL, you, you focus. You don't focus the juke and jives. You just look at their waist. So a 10-8 round for Camille Shermeta. Good start to him here in his Madison Square Garden debut. Said it was his dream to be here. So he tell his grandchildren about it one day. Shermeta will try to look for that shot again. He barely oh, missed yeah, it. Yeah, he hurt him again, and Cortez down for the second time. He thinks he was hit behind the head. He's rolling around. He's flat on his back. His eyes are closed. He's putting on a performance. Oh, he's back down again. That's it. You stopping it, Doc? Okay. I don't know what's going on. They said that was a knockout. The corner might have stopped it. Is that it? That's it. Yeah. That's it. It's a knockout. Benji Estefed says it's over. I believe it's a corner stoppage. The doctor was on the apron, but Cortez had had seemingly tried to get out of that fight. Is that what you felt? He got up, fell down, rolled around? I don't know. Look his, at this. His, uh, the way he went down, it was just a little bit too dramatic for me. It didn't look like he was going to get up. He looked like he was in pain. He was rolling around. Then he got up and went back down. It was just, it was really awkward. He was complaining about being hit behind the head. So maybe he was selling it, hoping for a point yeah. deduction. Usually when you're hurt, you don't roll around like that. You're, you're just hurt. You're paralyzed in pain. And the last thing you want to do is roll around and, and be dramatic. So here we see the replay. Shermeta landed a nice jab there. He's trying to set up that hook again, but this time he went around with the overhand right. First one was the overhand left. That was the overhand right. And those were going to be open all day because Cortez kept his chin too high. He fought upright a little bit too much. Shermeta timed them nicely, going low and coming around high with the punch. Set him up with that jab downstairs. And then that uppercut. And he's down. You know what? Let's bring in our Hall of Fame expert, referee Steve Smoger, new to the DAZN team. First of all, Steve, welcome. What did you see here? Steve, can you hear me? Uh, yes. Yes, I can. All right, Steve, what did you see there? It looked like uh, he got up, fell down, tried to get up, rolled around. What would you have done in that situation? Benji acted appropriately. The, uh, the knockdown was initiated oh, by a clean punch, okay, and uh, he ruled that that punch precipitated the stoppage. It did appear as though the opponent was trying to uh, find a way out by virtue of what he conceived to be a late hit. But it was an appropriate stoppage. Benji's a very competent referee. And he ruled that there was a clean knockdown. I believe the corner then intervened. So uh, 
it was an appropriate stoppage by a very excellent referee. Now, if indeed the punch was thrown behind the head, what would the situation have called for then? Benji could have ruled, uh, given him up to five minutes as an accidental foul, taken a point away, and then consulted with the doctors, and then allowed the opponent to continue. But as you gentlemen accurately pointed out, I don't think Mr. Cortez wanted to proceed in this case. Great to have you on board, Steve. We'll be checking back with uh, you throughout the night. Great opportunity. Great to work with such a wonderful team. Thanks for having me. And now up to Joe Martinez, who makes it official. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes officially 45 seconds, round number two. After advice of the ringside position, referee Benji Estevez puts a halt to the bout for your winner by TKO and still undefeated, Camille Shurimeta. Well, Sergio, he got the early knockout. That's what he wanted, and on paper, that's what it will say.